So you've got yourself a brand new Fuji X100V. It was hard to come by because they're in short supply right now, but you finally have your hands on that precious, beautiful camera that you've wanted for so long. And now comes the question of what accessories are you going to buy? And there's a lot of accessories, but the most important accessory, or at least the one that most people buy first, has got to be the lens hood. So what is the right lens hood for you? Before we get started, don't forget to check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere that podcasts are found. Follow me on Instagram at Boo Ray Perry. Also, be sure and join my group on Facebook. It is called Pro Photo Talk with Boo Ray Perry. We have a great community there. All right. So here's the here's the thing about the Fuji X100V. This camera is so beautiful. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. This is a beautiful camera. Uh, you'll notice a lot of times when you see ads. You'll see like ads and stock photography and if there's a camera in the picture, it'll be this camera because this camera is just so beautiful to look at. However, this short lens right here, so close, no cover in the front at all, can cause problems when you're working outside. So a lot of times you want to get a lens hood that you can keep on this camera all the time. There's other benefits to a lens hood as well. For example, the Fuji comes with a nice lens cap, very nice, very beautiful. But when you're working fast and loose, when you're doing street photography and you're walking around, taking the lens cap on and off all the time can be a bit of a pain. So you're more likely to leave the lens cap off. Well, this element is very close, very close to the front and very prone to fingerprints or scratching or something along those lines. And so you kind of want to get a lens hood. It's a dual purpose. First of all, it's going to protect your lens a little bit better. It's also going to help you with cutting down glare and cross glare from the sun. And finally, there's a third purpose, and that is that they can look kind of cool. So I've been deep down the lens hood well because I've had three of these cameras now and I've had lens hoods for all of them. So let me walk you through what I did, show you the three lens hoods that I have, and then you can figure out which one's gonna be right for you. All right, so the first lens hood that most people get is this one right here. Now, in order to put a lens hood on your camera, the first thing you have to do is there's a ring on the front of your camera right here. There's threads on here and it's covered up by this ring that threads onto the front of your camera. So you have to turn this and take it off. And it can be tricky because right behind it is this focus ring and you'll think you're turning it, you're not. It's a tiny little ring right here. So you turn that and don't drop it. There it is. See how small that is? Tiny little ring there. So you have to take this off in order to put most of your lens hoods on. Well, any of your lens hoods really. So now you've got that off. Now before you can put on this particular lens hood, you have to put on an adapter ring. And, and this lens hood, I, it may come with the adapter ring. I'm pretty sure that it does. And if it doesn't, you can buy an adapter ring. And by the way, I'm gonna have links to all of this uh, down in the comments. I'll have a link to every one of these lens hoods down in the comments. And if you click on one of those links and you buy a lens hood, I think I get like 20 cents, uh, which is whoo, helps me keep the camera going, uh, keep, keep the channel going. So this is the adapter ring and it just screws in place right where the ring is that you just took off your camera. So now you've got this on. You see that? This part right here. And now you can take this and you can put it right on the front and it just turns and locks. And that's your lens hood. This comes in black and silver. I have both of them. I don't have the silver one with me right now, but I have both the black one and the silver one. Uh, on this particular camera, I kind of like the black because it works with the black in the body, right? And I have, I do have though, however, I do have both of the adapter rings. So you can put the black adapter ring with the silver hood or the black with the black or the silver with the silver or whatever you want to do. So I think I normally would keep mine uh, black and silver like this. And that was my first lens hood. This is my go-to lens hood and it and it's a nice lens hood and it sticks out far enough to where it protects the lens well and so when i have this lens hood on the camera i don't ever put the lens cap on first of all the lens cap won't fit on here and it doesn't come with a lens cap so this becomes your lens cap but listen I, I, this you're not going to stick your finger in there and touch the lens it's not going to be a problem now here's another thing you need to know this ring this adapter ring there's another thing that you use this for and it's in case you want to put a filter 
on your camera. So here we have a neutral density filter, right? This screws right here into the front of this adapter. So now I've got a neutral density filter, a variable neutral density filter on the front of my camera. Without the adapter, you cannot put a filter on the front of the X100V. Also, the X100V is not totally water sealed unless you have a filter on the front. And the reason for that is that the um, lens has to move in and out when you focus. So when you're, when you're focusing the camera, this lens moves in and out, which means there has to be, by definition, some room around the lens in order for it to move. So the camera's water sealed, weather sealed, they say, uh, but that lens itself is not weather sealed. However, if you put this filter on the front, now it is weather sealed. So if you are a person who carries some lenses for your camera, rather, I'm sorry, some uh, filters for your camera, and puts them on and off your camera, then this is the kind of, uh, uh, this is the kind, uh, this is the kind of lens hood that you want. One that has to go on with an adapter because you're going to need this adapter anyway. Otherwise, if you use a lens hood that doesn't use the adapter, well, then you've got to take the lens hood off, put the adapter on, and then put the filter on which is fine. Um, it's what I do. You're about to find out. That's actually what I do right now. <laughs> but if you're a big filter user, you might want to consider one that doesn't have the adapter. All right. So let's go to ah, turn this and take this off. This is the uh, lens hood that I used on the first Fuji that I had, the X100S. And then I got the F. And about halfway through the F, I think I switched to this one. Now this one just screws right on the front of the camera. Eh. Or it falls on the floor. Sometimes it, sometimes it screws on the front of the camera. Sometimes it falls on the floor. So this one just screws onto the front of the camera without the adapter ring. And this is what it looks like. Now that's cool, right? That's, that's cool. I, I like that it's round. I like that it's in small. And here's another big benefit, big benefit to this. When you've got this one on your camera, you see how it flares out, how it, how it goes out higher? See how it, at the top it flares out? That actually blocks the flash a little bit. So if you take a picture with this on your camera, it will block your flash and keep some of your flash from hitting your subject. So a lot of times you won't notice that. You take a few pictures and you'll look at them and be like, how come the bottom of my picture is dark? And that's why. So you have to remember, every time I take a picture with the flash, I have to take off that lens hood, right? You don't really have the problem with this one. It might block a little bit of the light, you know, down, but it won't block all of it, or at least it won't block as much as this one does. So this one's a little bit better with the onboard flash. And it's cool, right? And it's nice, and it's just it's just a good all-around lens hood. And this was my go-to lens hood for a long time on this camera. And then I gave in to I gave in to pressure because I kept seeing these online, and I switched to the lens hood that I have now, which also just screws onto the front of the camera. It does not use the adapter, and it's this one. Okay, so see, it's kind of square, right? Like the sensor. It's kind. Uh, it's a totally different look for the camera, and this is one of the things I love so much about this camera is that you can, you know, you can play with the look. This is a totally. This totally makes the camera look different than when you've got this one on here, which looks different than when you've got this one on here. So this is the fun of this camera is how you can change the way it looks with just something like a, a simple lens hood. So this is kind of a cool, very retro square vibe, you know, old school, you know, rangefinder vibe. And I really like it. Also, this can be rotated. So look at this. You can, you can actually rotate it if you want it to do it this, to go this way. You can rotate it like so if you're trying to do something with it that way, you can but this is the one I keep on my camera now. Here's another nice benefit to this one. Look what it comes with. An actual lens hood. So for long-term storage, you know, when my camera's sitting in my bag, I'm not going to use it for a couple weeks or whatever, it's sitting there, I keep the lens hood on. And then when I go out shooting, doing street photography, family, whatever I'm doing, I just take this off, stick it in my pocket or stick it in my bag, 
and then I go, 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 go. And if I forget to put it back on, that's okay, because I walked around with just this on my camera and just this on my camera for years and never had a problem. But it is just kind of cool that there is this nice, big, protective lens hood that you can put on the front of the camera. So that's it. There, there may be other lens hoods out there, but... Um, those are the three that you see all the time. The most common one that you see is probably this one, followed by the square, followed by the circle. And one of the reasons I liked the circle was because I didn't see it on every Fuji X100. And I liked that it made mine look a little bit different than everybody else's. I think that in terms of practical terms, this may be the most practical. Uh, but in terms of cool, the square one might be, the rectangular one, it might be the most practical. You've got to decide for yourself, you know, and now hopefully you've got a good look at the three. Go into the description, click those links, take a look at them, and uh, figure out which one you want. Don't be afraid to order two. They're not that expensive. Maybe you want to switch it out. How am I feeling today? <laughs> right? So go check them out and find yourself the right lens hood for you on your Fuji X100B. Thanks for watching.